So today we're going to do the same thing to the lawn's air conditioning. You see, we've got both coils are pretty dirty and no check. Fix it, clean that. Uh, pull the indoor coil, clean that. Filter dryer, same thing. So let's get started with uh, cleaning this coil. Those fans are pretty messed up. Straighten those out. Clean the coil. Got uh, our line set sitting there, 150 nitrogen. I'll brace back in. Check on that later, make sure it's good. But in the meantime, we'll do this. Alright, finally shiny. That's a little nicer, huh? A little coating came off there. I don't think that had anything to do with me, but. Oh well. I got the fins. Mm, looking better. These are pretty messed up. There's only so much you can do with plastic fin comb. But I got, uh, got it flowing better for sure. Still holding steady. 150 psi nitrogen. Pressure went up because it's uh, going to get warmer. Warmer. Service wrench here. Don't forget that. And uh, just got to bring a metering device next week. Oh, we need to orifice and uh, we'll get this thing back together. Put the condenser back together today. Then I uh, guess I'll let it set in nitrogen for, for the week and come back next weekend and put it back in service. Okay, guys, uh, we're back here at my mom's air conditioner and uh, I had a little issue. I lost the uh, metering piston when I took this liquid line apart the other day. Uh, so that prevented me from finishing the job on the spot. I uh, cleaned both the coils and put a filter dryer in. There wasn't one before. Um, so now, I gotta retrofit it with a TXV. Because I can't find that piston anywhere. I'm not surprised. It's kind of a no-name air conditioner. So I got a Danfoss 5-ton uh, TXV here. And it's externally equalized. So I had to add this access port on the suction line which can be a little interesting don't have a lot of straight pipe to work with but we'll work it out um, all my welds were good uh, I held 150 pounds of nitrogen for like two weeks so <laughs> that's, that's good so <coughs> now I gotta cut into all of them though alright well uh so I'm draining the nitrogen out right now, uh, outside, and I'll crack this loose and uh, start cutting. Might unsweat this coupler and cut it out back here, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. Okay, so we have our TXV installed, all raised in pretty, it's uh, an equalizing line. Uh, sitting in nitrogen right now, and we will wait a little longer, make sure all the joints are good. I think they are there now. And ready. Oh. we're all uh, leak free here. We um, got my, uh, had one little leak at the equalizing flare nut, and that was just just uh, just like two pounds overnight, just enough to make me sweat. Uh, so I t uh, tightened that up a bit and uh, put 200 pounds of nitrogen on it, and that held. Uh, the pressure went up because it got warmer actually, so that was good. So now we're doing our final evacuation before we uh, release the refrigerant back. So and that'll be that. We'll go put our uh, P trap together inside, uh, tape everything back up, put insulation back on the suction line. We got some new armor packs over there. And we'll leave this vacuum pump on for a little while, make sure she gets good and dehydrated. And we'll be smiling. Okay, all done. Have our condensate drain on back in our, uh, our uh, furnace stack back in and suction line insulated and all that good stuff so we'll start it up adjust our superheat and this job is complete finally pretty 